When it comes to working with a database within a Python application or really any application across any language, there's a couple of different ways of interacting with the database. Uh, and so we saw how we can use the default Postgres driver uh, to talk to a Postgres database by sending SQL commands. And this is my preferred method of working with databases because I'm fairly comfortable with SQL. And so it just makes sense to use raw SQL and send that directly to Postgres using whatever the default Postgres driver is for your specific programming language. However, there are other methods. Uh, and so you'll see that one of the popular ways of you know, really working with databases is using what's referred to as a ob object relational mapper or an ORM. And so an ORM is a layer abstraction that sits between the database and our fast API application. Uh, and so we never actually talk directly to a database anymore. Instead, we talk to the ORM and then the ORM will actually talk to our database. Uh, and so some of the benefits are is that we don't actually have to work with SQL anymore. So instead of using raw SQL, what we'll do is we'll actually use standard Python code, uh, calling various functions and methods that ultimately translate into SQL themselves. So let's see what that actually looks like. Uh, and so with our traditional application, which is what we have now, we've got our fast API server, and it's going to talk to our database by sending SQL using the default Postgres database driver. However, with an ORM, what we can do is Fast API no longer has to talk SQL. Instead, Fast API will actually use regular Python code uh, to send you know, specific commands to an ORM. And then the ORM will take that Python code, convert it into regular SQL, and then using the same database driver that we we're using for, it'll actually talk to the database. Uh, and then it'll eventually send that result back to us because the databases, they can only talk SQL. However, by doing like this, we can kind of abstract away that SQL complexity and make use of uh, very common Python uh, objects and various other Python features to actually generate and build queries, as well as to create and define tables. So let's take a look at what an ORM ultimately allows us to do. So one of the first things is, instead of us going into you know, PG admin and creating the tables and all the columns ourselves, what we can do is we can define our tables as Python models. And so if you take a look at the code down here, what we can do is we can actually define what our tables in Postgres are going to look like. And so you can see here, we give it the table a name, and then we could specify each of the columns. You'll see a lot of the common fields that we already worked with. So the type, so this is an integer, this is a string. We can also see if a field is nullable, we can see that the ID is set to be a primary key. So we're using standard Python classes to define our tables so that we don't need to do it ourselves using PG admin. And on top of that, queries can be made using regular Python code. So we can actually chain on different methods to construct various Python, uh, to construct various SQL queries. And so if you take a look at one of the queries down here below that I provide as an example, you can see we just do query, we provide the specific table that we want to uh, query, and that's going to be based off of the specific models. And then we can just pass in whatever filter commands, and then grab the first entry. So you can see that there's no SQL anymore. It's just standard Python code. Uh, and so that makes it a little bit easier for some people who may not be as strong on SQL. Uh, and so they don't have to worry about writing these complex SQL commands. They can just chain on uh, specific methods to a, to a DB query to generate their final SQL commands. Uh, and so the, you know, there's a couple of different ORMs. I'd say the most popular one within the Python world is SQL Alchemy. And uh, one of the things to keep in mind is that this is a ORM that's a standalone library. Right, so this has this library has nothing to do with Fast API. We're going to use it in our Fast API application, but I want you guys to understand that it actually has no relationship with Fast API. It's not part of Fast API. It's its own library, and you can use SQL Alchemy with any web development framework. You can use it with any Python application, even if it's not a web application as well. So in the next video, we'll start taking a look at how to work with SQL Alchemy and how to set up a database connection using SQL Alchemy instead of using the default Postgres driver.